Hi, I'm Natalie and welcome back. So maybe by this point you've had the conversation with your partner and maybe you've decided that you'll open your marriage. Maybe you've even sat down and made a few rules and put in some boundaries. So another thing that you might want to consider while you're mapping this out, this new marriage and life for yourself is who do we tell and what do we tell them? And this is something that you and your partner can solely decide on your own, which is what you should do anyway. So you might be in a position where you just want to seal it up, just the two of you. Maybe you'll go to another city or another place and figure it out together as you make your way through. Maybe when you open your marriage, you will want to do it where you go on adventures together. So you might be in a position where you don't have to tell anybody. And at that point, you might not want to. I mean, there's a difference between privacy and secrecy. You're supposed to have a private, discreet marriage. That's okay. That's not a secret. That's your life. That's your marriage. Keep it private. You're not doing anything wrong. So I wasn't in that position though. My husband and I, when we opened our marriage, we decided we'd have separate single lives. And I would not be staying in our city. In the beginning, I would go to a different city. And then shortly after that, I was going to New York every month. So even though my husband would be staying where we live, I would be going away. So I needed supports to pull it off. So my mother would come to my house and watch my daughter while, while I was away for my single side. Now I decided to tell my mother that we had opened our marriage because we're not monogamous and that we were changing the dynamic and you know, I would be going away to kind of figure out what I wanted or you know, what I was gonna do with that. Now I told my mother for a couple of reasons. One, she would be watching our daughter and I wanted, you know, I wanted her to know that I wasn't just running away, that I wasn't just floundering about, that it was intentional. And I also wanted her to know in case she ever seen Dan out and about, like, I don't want my mom to be in a position where she sees him and is like, either he ha she has to confront him or she feels she has to tell me. It just felt like it was unnecessary. And since my mom and myself were quite close at that time, I knew that even if she didn't understand it, she would be supportive of the fact that I'm doing it openly and honestly. So I told her and then I told, you know, my daughter's Nana who watches her a lot. And I told a few close friends who I knew were quite liberal in their thinking and weren't really sold on the whole idea of marriage and had really embraced the open lifestyle within their own lives. So I really was selective of who we were selective of who we told. And then we took into consideration, well, what do we tell them? Well, we don't have to tell them much. I mean, at the end of the day, as long as you and your partner are on the same page, rowing the same boat, nobody needs to know a whole hell of a lot, right? They just need to know that if they see you out and about, it's okay. Please don't interfere. There's no stress. There's no strain. Any of that happening in the marriage, no one is cheating and no one is lying. It's all okay. And, you know, even though the people we tell might not be comfortable, they might be quite uncomfortable knowing this information. Um, they don't really necessarily understand feelings of non-monogamy and not wanting to practice monogamy anymore. And when they see or witness something like that, they're going to have emotional reactions because they're our friends and our family and they're invested in us. So they're going to have those feelings if they believe we know, and especially if they believe we don't know. So I really took the time to write it out and think, if someone's seen us, who would be legitimately affected and hurt? My mother was one of the main people. My daughter's Nana was a second. And the third is our adult son. We decided to tell him. We wanted to tell him because my husband would be dating in town and because he's an adult and I wanted him to know that even though the marriage was changing, that 
We were doing it in a way that was respectful and respectable and that, you know, it wasn't about leaving the marriage and it wasn't that things weren't loving anymore. It was that we'd come to this place in our lives where we realized that we are completely in love and committed to one another, but we still have the interest of having more experiences and having experiences with other people. Now, like I said, you might not decide to tell anyone. And within a year of mine opening, I started a blog. So by then everyone knew, and now I have a book on it. So I kept it quiet and private. So Dan and I could move through together um, in a fashion that we were comfortable with. We didn't want or need to broadcast it or even want or need outside opinions. They weren't necessary. We just wanted this time and space to go through. And that was it. So we picked a few people who we decided to tell and then we decided that they only needed to know very little information. I mean, after all, we're not looking for approval. We're just letting you know in case you witness that this is how it is. And we are happy and we are healthy and we are committed. Thanks for stopping by. If there's anything else you'd like to know, leave it in the comments. Thanks so much.